Hawkins scale 600 to 699. Good morrow. This is Chris speaking, Shores of Infinity, with a video about the Hawkins scale 600 to 699. As you might know, I've been in Portugal for some days, so I couldn't finish the Hawkins scale series. But this is the next part, the 600s. So, up until the 500s, up until 599, awakening and enlightenment is more or less what you imagined it would be. With a slight problem, it is not enlightenment. It is awakening, yes. 400 to 599 is where awakening happens, but it is not enlightenment. It's what people think is enlightenment, but it is not Enlightenment kind of starts in the 600s and really starts in the 700s according to the Hawkins scale of consciousness. So I told you it's going to get weird and it is. The 600s are neutrality. In spell dynamics it's usually plum and aubergine. And in the finders locations it's usually location 5 to 10. When you get into the 600s, you finally arrived at what I call the Shores of Infinity. That's why the name of the channel is chosen such. You, you crashed. Your boat of certainty, your boat of ego, your boat of personality, your boat of I know what reality is, crashed on these distant shores, these infinite shores totally new country, a totally new world. You're a stranger in a strange land. Things cease to appear familiar. Everything appears to be new somehow. It looks the same, but at the same time it's new. You have a constant holodeck feeling that nothing, what you called reality so far and what most people call reality, is actually real. It all seems fake. On the one hand, it seems fake and artificial. On the other hand, it seems vibrant and alive. Everything is same, same, but different. Somehow the same and somehow completely different. And the coolest thing, or the most disturbing thing maybe, is that duality ceases too. This whole thing about good, bad, angels, demons evil knievels and so on, it stops. It's all Maya. There's no evil super genius behind it, no super villain or super villains. Uh, it's all Maya. It's all part of the game. You stop taking things seriously. You already started stopping taking things seriously before in the 400s and 500s, but now you really do because you think no more. Thinking stops. Uh, you see, you think you see uh, that uh, this is it now, but of course it is not. That's why so many people who get there, very few people get into the 600s, yeah? Less than one in a million, probably. But even if you get there, then there's a danger to get stuck there, because you have finally entered the fringes of the mental or causal realm. And the subtle realm is already larger than the material realm and the mental realm is even larger than the subtle realm. Causality stops. You see that there is no linear causality. There is no cause and effect chain. One thing causes the next and so on in a linear line of time. That is not the case. Time stops making sense somehow. But what starts making sense is to just watch things how they unfold how they are right now in this moment and they might be different in the next moment this is the park bench phase Eckhart Tolle talked about you sit on the park bench and everything is very very interesting how the pigeons land and fly off again and people passing by it's at the same time totally boring and totally fascinating because what is not there anymore is identification. There's no more identification and attachment, if you use these two Buddhist terms, which are very good. 
You're not attached to the stuff anymore. Things happen the way they happen and it's cool. It's cool the way they happen. Even a piece hunk of shit yeah, lying on the floor is, can seem perfect because it is there. So on the one hand it's a peaceful state. It's finally a peaceful state because you're not invested in things anymore. You don't care anymore. There's no one who can take care. Who cares anymore? You follow the flow. It's like watching the waves crashing against the shore, against the rocks or the sand, the beach. You sit there and you're just watching the waves. Or you look into a campfire and you're watching the flames. There are no good waves or bad waves or more or less beautiful waves. Actually, everything is the same. It doesn't matter if it's the beach, the water, the air, the sky, the birds, the seashells lying on the shore, the people walking by, a piece of plastic swimming on the foam, a dead jellyfish washing up. It's all the same. All this, the, the, all these ideas of matter and stuff, uh, it's ridiculous. This is the second time in the, and on the journey of enlightenment where others might think you're depressed because you're so neutral and so uninterested in stuff. It doesn't matter if this happens or that happens or if we go there or yonder. Um... Who cares? The enthusiasm is gone. The first time it happens is usually around the 400s when you wake up and then the second time is here when you enter this total neutrality which is very hard to describe or even impossible to describe. But once you're there you probably remember and say ah, that's what he meant. And again, this is one of these phases where people contact me and ask Dude, am I going crazy? And I say, no, that's normal. And towards the end of the 600s, towards 700, but not yet already 700, in the, yeah, 690 to 699 kind of, this gets so intense that you become kind of a nihilist. It's... It's the aubergine, the exiting aubergine phase, which is similar to exiting green and first tier of spiral dynamics. We re reject everything. Even spirituality itself is rejected. Tony Parsons is a good example for that, but I actually call it the Socrates phase. Huh? As a Socrates, you doubt, you question everything, but you don't supply answers, you just ask you deconstruct. Socrates called it midwifing. He's midwifing others to have ideas outside of their normal realm. And maybe you even need others to communicate, otherwise nothing would ever be happening in your mind. But once you do meet people and they start talking, you immediately catch on to their bullshit. You have a very, very strong bullshit detector and everything seems to be bullshit. It's not that you have a better answer, but you know this is bullshit. And most spiritual teachings also seem to you like bullshit. Like hope and wishful thinking and pink glasses. It's not a beautiful paradise. It's a lonely shore. But there's no one. You're like... Robinson Crusoe alone on the island talking to a ball or in the case of this picture a seashell there's less of everything there's less because you see behind the screen you see the projector instead of the projection on the screen and probably for the about the third time in your life you think okay this is it there's no, there can be no state of consciousness beyond this. How can there be? 
But there is. There are the 700s and we'll talk about 700 the next time in the next video. Thank you for watching, liking and subscribing. Thank you for joining me on Patreon. Thank you for those who have joined me already on Patreon. Thank you very much and see you soon.